How do you respond to uh, the the religious leaders in Iran when they say that this is just a few troublemakers? Yeah, he said that it's insignificant. Right. So, so it's just simple. If we are insi insignificant, if we are not that important, then how come the supreme leader of Iran talks about us? <laughs> that? that shows we, we, we got him into trouble to recognize us. Look, I remember when I launched White Wednesday's, uh, uh, White Wednesday's campaign, Tasnim News Agency wrote an article and uh, saying that White Wednesday is just dead after four days, but they're still talking about us. Nobody, Nobody talk about a dead body, a dead person. That means we are there and they cannot control us. That means they found out that these women who are fighting against compulsory hijab, they are actually fighting against the most visible symbol of Islamic Republic of Iran, the most visible symbol of oppression, and this is just the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that that's, that's really important, the, the fact that it's a symbol, because uh, one thing I've noticed is that whenever you have protests, economic protests, political protests in Iran that, that we hear about around the world, all of us, um, this becomes a face of it. You know, my stealthy freedom and those hijab videos, they, they really, really rise to the top. And, and that's yeah. what people see as, as the face of the protest. Secular Jihadists is an increasingly influential podcast with much of its growing audience in Muslim-majority countries advocating for atheists, secularists, and Enlightenment thinkers. We want to reach out to more people. If we reach 500 patrons, we will be able to translate our shows into Arabic, Urdu, Persian, Bengali, Malay, Turkish, and other languages in these countries. Help us get there at patreon.com slash S-J-M-E.